Uh, hi friends, uh, this LOS basically talks about various components of income statement and talks about what are the different ways of presenting an income statement. As we all are aware of, an income statement is known in, by different terminology. Some people call it statement of operations, some people say statement of earning, it's also popularly known as profit and loss account, etc, etc. But the idea is, uh, this statement would talk about what are the various sources of income and what are the source, uh, application of various, in the form of various expenses. And the net result is either a profit or a loss. And that's what an income statement would ideally depict. So in a simple equation, revenues minus expenses is basically a net income. And in case the expenditure are higher than your revenues, it will result into a, a loss. When we talk about uh, revenues per se, a revenue can be depicted by way of either gross revenue or a net revenue. The difference between the gross and net revenue would be uh, some items like sales return. So you mention your gross sales, reduce your sales return and you arrive at net revenue. And there are some other ways, uh, other duties etc. which are also reduced uh, from gross revenue which are for example, excise duty. So you would have gross revenues or gross sales. You reduce your excise duty or sales return and arrive at net revenue. Uh, the way revenues are being uh, divided, expenses can also be grouped based on either by way of function or by way of nature. By function, I mean which function does that particular expense item belong to? Let's say COGS or when we say cost of goods sold. Now cost of goods sold is not depicted by nature but by a function in the sense COX is part of manufacturing expenses. So what basically uh, is done is that all manufacturing expenses are clubbed under a head called manufacturing expenses. Example could be COGS, it could be carriage inward, it could be uh, for example wages etc. Now all these expense items are clubbed under an expense called manufacturing expenses. So these are the expenses which are cl clubbed by way of function. There are other expense items which are clubbed and, uh, by way of nature. For an example, interest. Now we don't show interest as interest for an, uh, p a purchase of asset in the factory or interest for administration block etc. Inter all interest expenses are clubbed under a single head called interest. Similarly, depreciation. Now, as we call about depreciation, we don't bifurcate depreciation by way of function, but entire depreciation expense is shown as a single head called depreciation. And similar issue with income taxes. We don't calculate and, rep and really pres represent income taxes paid for separate divisions. So, some expenses are done by way of uh, function and some expenses by way of nature. So an exam, their C typical CFA question could be, they will give you a couple of expenses and ask you whether they would should be classified by way of function or by way of nature. Uh, other than operating income, there are other estimated gains and losses arising out of discontinued operation or not. So you basically put in all income and expenses from continuing operation and after that you try to work out what are the different uh, expenses or income related to an asset which you have sold off. For example, a company might have five divisions, let's say A, B, C, D and E and during the year the company decides to hive off E because it's not profitable. Now all income and revenue figure for E division would be shown separately after continuing operation net of taxes as income or loss from discontinued operation. It's very similar to your extraordinary expenditure etc. We'll discuss it separately in subsequent slides. Uh, now let's look, a, look at what are the different presentation formats for income statement. There are generally two kind of presentations done. One is a single step model where you all club all revenue items under one head and all expenditure item in another head and the net result is known as profit after tax. It could be a gain or a loss. Now this is rarely used because it does not give us the nature of revenues and similarly does not talk about the various subgroups of expenses. Uh, other than single step, the more popular format for presenting income statement is multi-step format. And most of the annual report you would come across, the PNL given in that particular reports are generally multi-step model. 
Now this particular way of presenting income statement would ideally give information about gross profit, operating profit and net income and does not restrict, it, restrict itself to net income only. So it will then first of all decrease all operating expense in the form of COGS etc and arrive at gross profit then deduct other operating expenditure give you a data on operating profit then reduce other expenditure and arrive at income from uh, continuing operation and then reduce your extraordinary income and discontinued operation and give you net income so it gives you far more detailed information as compared to a single step model and hence more popular form of presenting an income statement now let us look at various uh, formats uh, which we just discussed first of all let us look at a format for a single step model now it's a very simple method where we have clubbed all revenue items and then reduce the expenses to arrive at a profit figure the multi step model gives more detailed information and hence more popular it will first of all break the revenue piece separately and the expenditure into various heads for example revenue minus cogs will give me a figure called gross profit then we reduce other operating expenses like admin expenses selling expenses and arrive at a profit figure called operating profit reduce other operating expenses such as depreciation interest arrive at earning before tax which is also known as profit before tax and then reduce the tax item and get something called profit after tax it is also known as net income and in business parlance also called about bottom line of the company as we are all aware sales is more popularly known as your top line and pat is known as your bottom line let us look at some uh, specimen for cfa uh, kind of question which of the following best describes an income statement the first option is an income statement reports changes over a period of time on a in component account that comprise the ownership of the firm now that's not an income statement but changes in owners equity an income statement summarizes the financial position of a company at a given point in time again financial position is not depicted by profit and loss account or an income statement but to a through a balance sheet the third statement talks about an income statement measures the company's financial performance over a specific period of time and that's the right definition for an income statement and hence our right answer becomes C let us look at some other uh, CFA kind of question are income taxes and cost of goods sold examples of expenses classified by nature or classified by function in the income statement now as you are aware income taxes are always classified by way of nature and cost of goods sold is a kind of manufacturing expenses and hence classified by way of function so a becomes our right answer let's look at the numerical question uh, from a multi step profit and loss account or an income statement it talks about the revenue of the firm is x this the cost of dollar is 1 point cost of goods sold is 1.5 million selling expenses is about 0.1 million interest expenses $50,000 admin expense is $50,000 and dividend paid is this much tax rate is this much and we try to look into various sources of profit which are op gross profit operating profit and net profit now we should be aware that everything starts with revenue so revenue is about $2 million and when you reduce revenues uh, a cost of goods being reduced from your revenues you arrive at GP so GP becomes your 2 million minus 1.5 million that gets, gives you about 0.5 million so that's 500,000 becomes your gross profit from the gross profit you need to reduce various operating expenses to arrive at operating profit so what are these operating expenses your selling expenditure interesting expenses and non-operating expense and then comes your admin expense so from $500,000 you reduce your 100,000 on account of selling expense and another 50,000 on account of selling expenses so you're left with 350,000 USD that becomes your operating profit now when you reduce your interest expense from it which is another 50,000 you arrive at profit before tax which is 300,000 dollars 
what is the uh, tax rate? It's twenty percent. So you reduce tax at twenty percent, which would be sixty thousand. So the net amount is two forty thousand USD, and that becomes your net profit. So if you really look at your first option, gives you the right definition for gross profit, operating profit, and net profit figure. Here, one must be careful about an information which is given which not be used. For example, dividend paid is an extra information given to you which you would not be using because this is after pet item. So after allocation of pet item, you these are basically appropriation of profit and hence it is below the line item. It's also known as above the line and below the line. Pet becomes a line. So anything that comes before pet is above the line item and anything comes after pet is basically below the line item. So dividend paid becomes a below the line item and hence will not be part of a pet calculation. Uh, just to summarize this LOS for you, uh, first it talks about income statement being represented by single step and multi-step. The multi-step is more popular because it uh, gives you far more detailed information about income statement and gives you income information under three levels, a gross profit, an operating profit and net profit. Secondly, uh, key information from this LOS would be what are the different ways of classifying expenses. The expenses can be classified under two heads by way of nature or by function type. For example, if I talk about depreciation, which particular category will it belong to? Depreciation is always classified by way of nature. And another example could be, let us say, a salary given for administration team. Now, this salary to an admin guy will be classified under administration expenses. So, at times, all selling general and administration expenses are classified as SGA and expenditions. The idea is all such category of items will be classified by way of function and not by way of nature.